Hey and hello my scrappy friends, Melinda here with you all today. Uh, big welcome to my channel and thank you so much for dropping in. Today's share is for the Tracy Reed Designs team and I am working with the Scrap Lift Saturday and today we are scrap lifting Eve. My goodness, make sure you check out her link below. Uh, every single page is amazing. <laughs> I really struggled narrowing down uh, which page I was going to lift for this one, but I'm really pleased with what I ended up choosing in the end. Uh, I did pick one with the black background and then all like the mixed media uh, on top of that. Now, Eve is a digital scrapbooker, so I always I always struggle a little bit with that, but um, I, lo I love all of her layers, uh, her clusters. Uh, this girl can scrap for sure. So yes, this was super fun to do. I was immediately inspired by the black background, the cluster right in the middle. I love how the colors pop off of that black background. She's done a fairly um, like pink, gold, black, white kind of challenge, uh, not challenge, page, which I love. And I wanted to go with the black. Uh, I did originally think I was going to do a 12 by 12 layout. And then, uh, so if you have a look at Eve's page again, you can see that in the background there's some stenciling. I thought I was gonna create a stencil using one of Tracy's digital stamps, which is exactly what I've done here. Um, and then build my layout on, like my layers on top of that. You can see I have created this stencil here. I did use one of the uh, digital stamps. I've opened that up in uh, Silhouette Studio and then I've just added in some extra, uh, like the confetti pieces, the um, streamers and all that kind of stuff. I've made a six by six stencil, had my cameo cut that out. I loved how this worked out. And so once I pulled it off the cutting mat, I was like, I can't cover this up once I've done what I want to do with it. So that's how I ended up with cards. So you can see here, uh, I've cut myself a black card base. I've used three color pastes by Color Blast. Uh, I've used blush, sunshine, and deep water. And you could see I just kind of divided the stencil into three. I thought that I would get, um, like, where the colors overlapped, I'll get orange and green, which I didn't, but I'm totally okay with how it turned out in the end. You can see I had some extra paste on my stencil by the time I finished up with it so I've just stuck my stencil to another piece of white cardstock and I'm just adding a bit more color to that randomly I wanted to use up as much of that paste as I could rather than waste it so I'm just having a bit of fun getting a bit messy um, I don't actually end up making anything with this piece so I do still have it there to create with at some point however I did while I was doing the um, the first one of these, I was hit with inspiration to do some stenciling at some um, blending, ink blending as well. So you will see the process that I go through for that one. Here is the one with just the random colors all smushed through. It's very pretty. Uh, I did immediately go and take that and wash it. And now I am back to do my next card. So again, I'm just lining that roughly, lining that up roughly in the center of this white card. I'm going to tape the back of it down. I have pulled out a rainbow of Distress Oxide inks. Uh, and I'm going to ink blend from the top to the bottom in rainbow order. So I'm starting with my pink in Kitsch Flamingo. And then uh, red. So you can see I'm just counting out, making sure I've got enough room. The red that I'm going with is Festive Berries. Um... Orange is Spiced Marmalade. So I do end up doing two coats of all of these colours and you can see I'm literally just, uh, I'm going a little bit further down with each colour than I want the colour to show and then blending over the top with the next colour down. Uh, spiced Marmalade. Uh, I've got paper towel to the right hand side there as well just so I can clean off my brushes a little bit because I'm not sure if I cleaned them very well last time I used them or not. And then onto my yellow, which I start with mustard seed, and I'm like, mm, nah. Oh, hang on. Yeah, I, I did change it. I've gone to, what color did I use? No, 
I started with a different colour and I ended up with mustard seed, my apologies. So that is mustard seed that I'm putting on now. Um, I switch out my green, I go with twisted citron. You can see I'm going for a really bright colour palette here. Um, again, just overlapping at the top and then uh, bringing the colour down a little bit further than I need it to be. I'm not really sure what happened here. Uh, I'm using Broken China and it comes out really, really um, aqua, which I'm totally fine with. I really like it, but Broken China is normally more blue, but that's okay. Uh, and then my final colour, I'm going to use Villainous Potion. Yes, that is purple and it is on mine. And yes, I did it. It looks great. Um, so I'm going to take the stencil off, have a quick peek at it. Oh no, I'll wipe it all down. Uh, and this, I think, is where I've done the second coat. Yep, there you go. I love how that looks. Pop that one aside to make sure it dries thoroughly. And I'm going to work on this one. Um, you may have noticed that in the beginning, I did pop the little pieces in for the E, the B, and the A. I used my little pokey tool to, um, to get those out. Uh, you may have also noticed that the last E, when I was putting the paste through, it came off the page. So that's okay. I just kind of ran with that and it's handmade card. And if someone doesn't like that, well, tough luck. <laughs> that's one of the little inside pieces <laughs> from my letters. All right. So I had this left over in my papers. Um, this I'd actually printed it 12 by 12, I think, and didn't end up using it. Or I used half of it. I can't remember. Uh, and I'm going to use that as like the background for my card. Stick that onto my card base. Make sure I've got the text going the right way and make sure that my card is going the correct way as well. Make sure that's all good. Make sure it's all stuck down. I'm just going to trim the edge off. My black panel is going to go on there. Um, I did try to add more stuff, but like I said, uh, one of the reasons why I decided to go with a card and not a layout was I could not bring myself to cover this up. So um, I have just gone with that one banner, which I love. I think it looks awesome. I've popped that up on some little foam um, dimensionals. And I'm going to use some of my Scotch Tacky Glue to glue that down as well. Uh, in the meantime, I'm just doodling a little border around the edge here. I felt like it just needed something. And I'm just using my white jelly roll pen. Done two lines all the way around all four edges. I'm going to stick this guy down now. Pretty sure, uh, oh yeah, my red line tape because this stuff is awesome. Uh, I don't know if anyone wants to know. I don't know where this came from. I think my husband gave it to me uh, a number of years ago. This stuff is awesome. I love it. It's exactly the same as like the skinny ones that we get in the crafting world. Uh, but it's like way thicker. It's awesome. I'm going to use some wet glue as well. It gives me a little bit of time to move this in case I plonk it down not straight. Then I'm going to add on my banner. Um, so peel off all the little backings, add some of the scotch tacky and stick that down. And I really love how this came out. I do add some white splatters. Um, in a recent video of mine, I shared that I am going to be trying some black and white gouache watercolour paint for my splatters. So that is what I'm using for my white splatters on this card. Into my little tray, add some water, grab my paintbrush. Uh, now I didn't record the process of me creating a card with my Distress inks, but I do have photos. So at the end, after I've shown you the still, the slow video of this card, I do have stills of the other card. What I ended up doing was recutting the words from Celebrate. I cut them, I think, three times on white cardstock, just some scrap. Then I cut them a fourth time on some holographic cardstock, and here it is. I've added that You Are Amazing, and then I've added a few holographic stars to match, and that is my cards done. This was the layout I lifted. Seriously, you need to check out East Gallery. Her pages are stunningly gorgeous. I love them. Uh, as always, thank you ever so much for stopping by and choosing to spend your scrappy time with me. Make sure you check out the Tracy Reed Designs blog for everyone's um, lifts of Eve. And if you have any questions, make sure you drop them below. I will see you in my next video.